I just feel like it got Putin quite a lot of heat. And I don't feel like it was an ample time for him to just commit an assassination. He was under enough heat. He had enough things going on. He just did the Tucker interview, I believe. In fact, a lot of people in the West have respect for Putin now, maybe not amongst the elites, but amongst the general populace because he's nationalistic and he's very competent, which is something we're lacking in our leadership. It just didn't make sense for him to do a bad guy thing. The guy was already in jail. I understand he died from complications of the vaccine. That's what I understand, but perhaps I'm wrong. Who knows? Well, there was also, uh, you know, a number of people who've gone undergone similar situations in Russia. So, I mean, maybe that's a different thing. Uh, I'll, I'll move on, though. Let well, me Russia's ask Russia. Yeah, no, Russia's Russia. I mean, I, I, every country has its own way of dealing with things, right? And nowhere's perfect. But I just think it's kind of hypocritical to us in the West. We look at all these other countries and we say, ah, oh, look, you can't speak over there. Oh, look what happens when you challenge power over there. Well, look what happens when you challenge power over here, my friends. Let me ask you about the, 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 you know, you talked about jail being kind of a reset for you. A little holiday, I think, the way you described it. Yeah. What is your fear, though, of actually having a long term uh, in prison? I mean, you know, do you fear of dying in jail? I don't operate in the realm of fear. I, I genuinely don't operate in the realm of fear.